For tonight, we're eating at one of my absolute favorite restaurants. It's called Pacific Edge, and it's located in the Hyatt Highlands Inn, which is in Carmel Highlands, which is slightly outside of Carmel by the Sea. The hotel is really gorgeous. It was built in 1917 in sort of a wood and stone, Art Nouveau, arts and crafts type style. And it was recently renovated by the Hyatt uh, in about 2015, 2016. Prior to the renovation, there were two restaurants, one called California Market, which was more of a casual bistro, and Pacific Edge, which was more of a fine dining experience. Well, since the renovation, they've actually combined both restaurants. So it's now known as California Market at Pacific's Edge. I've heard mixed reviews. Uh, it used to be fantastic, but since then, I think that they've been going through a little bit of growing pains. So we'll see how the food is tonight. One of the reasons this is my absolutely favorite restaurant has not only to do with the fact that it's got such a great, high quality, fine dining experience, but also has to do with the fantastic views overlooking the ocean, especially at sunset. You'll see as we go into the restaurant that there are these huge plate glass windows that go the entire length from the ceiling to the floor, and you can sit and enjoy the view while you eat. If you're going to come eat here, definitely also show up a little early and you can have drinks firsthand in the adjoining Sunset Lounge, which also has the same spectacular plate glass windows and view. And here we are at the Sunset Lounge. We're going to go in and grab a drink. So I got a really nice, very crisp, sweet Riesling, and the girls got virgin blueberry mojitos, which look really colorful and fantastic with mint in it. And for tapas, we got the grilled shishito peppers, and we also got some empanadas the beautiful chimichurri dipping sauce with what looks like garlic and oregano in olive oil. Inside the empanada is a mixture of cheese, onions, and mushroom, which you only get an essence of mushroom in the taste. Mostly tastes very creamy. The aroma of the mushroom is also really nice. This is a shishito pepper. It's a Japanese pepper. It's not very spicy at all. It tastes a little bit like uh, what a pepperoncino would taste like before you pickled it. And the best way to serve it, and the most traditional way to serve it, is to just grill it until the skin begins to blister and then season it with a little bit of sea salt. It's really delicious. Mm. So here's our first course, it's an appetizer. It's a grilled baby octopus with some fingerling potatoes and over here there's some sauce, which is uh, like a garlic sauce. The octopus is really tender and the grill gives it a smoky quality. It kind of reminds me of octopus that I've had fresh from the sea in Greece. Um, the garlic sauce really enhances the smoke flavor a lot. It's a very, very good appetizer. The garlic sauce is also kind of sweet and so it's nice. It's got these little hints of uh, sweetness to it when you eat it with octopus. For my entree, I ordered the duck, medium rare and dressed with a house-made mole sauce. And an unusual walnut powder which is made by grinding the walnut meat into an extremely fine texture. The sides included a roasted acorn squash. and whole heirloom carrots. So 
I'm a little disappointed. I do have to say that the duck is a little dry and is a little tough. The butternut squash, however, is pretty good. This mole actually is quite delicious. Um, it's got some onions in it and it's quite tangy and very, very flavorful. Um, and the flavor is quite concentrated in it. There's a little bit of lime in it, a little bit of cilantro, so very, very Mexican in flavor. So I'm a couple of bites in, and actually the duck is a little bit inconsistent. It's much better now. The pieces on the inside seem to be less dry and tough. Um, I would say that the slices are a little thick, which makes it taste a little bit more that way, but this is getting much better. So my daughter ordered the short ribs, which looks fantastic. And this has been cooked for a long time, such that the uh, meat is literally falling off the bones. And it's accompanied by some butternut squash risotto, which you can see right here, that looks really fantastic. And then there's some wild mushrooms and some root vegetables. Um, boiled, and you can see the vegetables right here. That looks like a turnip or a potato or something in there. Looks really good. How is it, Kayla? It's good. It's probably better than the duck. It literally pulls off the bone. Mm. Uh, ah, small part. Okay. Cut, cut, no. Mm -hmm. no. I'm gonna try some of the risotto from the short ribs. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, there's some cheesiness to it, um, and then there's a little bit of the au jus from the baby back ribs mixed in there, or the short ribs mixed in there. So my daughter's friend ordered this. It's called an almond yogurt, and I'm assuming this is the almond yogurt right in here. It looks fantastic. It's actually meant to be a salad, but it uh, looks really much fancier than that. So it's got some root vegetables in here, and some really beautiful um, turnips it looks like, and some other root vegetables in here. And then there's a little pistachio granola in here, and it's drizzled and topped off. And you can see here little bits of cilantro oil. And then she also got a butternut squash soup, which also looks fantastically yummy. And I think the kids are dying to eat, so I'm gonna let them eat and stop filming here. The yogurt's really yogurt. It's not like made of almonds or anything, but like it kind of has like this nutty flavor because of the pistachios that I mixed in. And I personally don't like this thingy. I don't know what it is, but like, maybe because I'm just a kid and I don't have the root that, there. That, that taste bud that people like that when you're in Brazil. Um, but, and like the veggies here are also really good. The carrots, I think. And they're like, they're really soft and like, see, kids had to get a dessert and they ordered a creme brulee. Looks really delicious. It's got of course the crackling top, some fresh strawberry slices and it looks like there's an ice cream and a little, um, what is that, like a, a wafer, a little um, cookie, lace wafer cookie thing. All right, you guys are gonna have to bite into it and let me know. Do the first crack, 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 crack the, uh, Satisfying crap. Yeah, not really satisfying. I think they need to do it, they need to roast it some more. See what I How's it guys? Mm. The sugar coat's actually yeah. really good.
So that was our meal at California Market at Pacific's Edge in the Hyatt Highlands Inn. So far, I would say between the three of us, we rate the appetizers, big thumbs up. We rate the desserts, big thumbs up. The entrees, however, still a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, the views are definitely worth coming down and seeing, so stop on by, but come instead to the Sunset Lounge where we were earlier and enjoy the views with drinks and appetizers, which if you're here between four and six, you can get for a discounted price during happy hour. From Carmel Highlands, this is Zine. Peace out, Geeksters. Hello, secret camera. Okay, turn it off.